Hi, uh, welcome to Cell Vault and in today's episode, uh, I'll talk about USB on the go feature on the new Z30. So what you see on my table right now is a new Z30 running on 10.2 operating system. So this device has recently been announced in India and uh, a few other countries including Malaysia, Indonesia and uh, the device comes with a fabulous feature which is called USB on the go. What this feature helps you in, it can uh, help you in reading your pen drives onto your mobile device. So what you see here is the Z30 and this is what we will need which is a USB OTG cable, USB on the go cable which is pretty easily available out there in the market. So this one uh, I got for around $2 and uh, in India it's uh, readily available. So this is uh, the port that you should be looking out for in order to use it on your Z30. It's similar to your charging port and uh, the other end goes into your pen drive. Right, so with me I have the USB on the go cable and this is my pen drive which I would be reading on my mobile device now. So uh, how does this help the end user? Okay, so let's say you've got a good movie on your pen drive when you're traveling and you want to watch that movie, right? So you can pretty easily copy this movie from your pen drive onto your mobile device and you're good to go and you can watch that movie and uh, reach your destination pretty easily without getting bored. Right, so how we do that, right? It's pretty simple. Uh, on the edges of the device, you've got two ports. The first one is the micro HDMI port, which is used to connect your device and read presentations. And uh, the other one is a charging port. So this is where I would put one slot here and it goes pretty easily. This is how I fix this. Now, the other end, I would use to plug my pen drive and just see the screen what happens the moment I plug my pen drive, it would read USB device inserted. The device has detected that a USB device has been inserted. Now, I wish to read the content from my pen drive onto my device. All I need to do is swipe where you have your file manager. On my device, it's on the second pane. So I touch this file manager. Now, if you see up here, it's giving me my device content. And on the bottom left hand side, I touch and I see media card, USB device, Blackberry link, box, Dropbox. So these are all the contents which are there on my device. So what I need to do is in order to read the content that is there on my pen drive, I'll see USB device. And when I touch up here, see, it's pretty easy. It's given me all the content that is there on my pen drive. It says I've got a few movies, so I'm a movie buff, you know, and uh, like the example I picked, this is usually which I keep handy with me. So I've got a final destination, I've got a Troy, right, G.I. Joe retaliation. So let's say I want to copy my final destination on my mobile so that I can watch the movie while I'm in a flight or in a train. All I'll do is I'll open this folder, whichever one I want to copy. You long press it and it gives you the option. So the first one is a move, copy, share, properties, rename, zip or select more. Let's say I want to copy. So all I do is I go into copy. It's asking me where do I want to paste it. I want to paste it on my device so I can read it. And I go on my device and let's say I want to paste it in my videos folder and I do a paste up here. So if you see it started to paste that movie onto my mobile now and once it's done, I can watch it. So right now, since I already have it on my device, I'll cancel it. I go back. So what this does is I could have easily read it from my pin drive also while the cable is connected. But it just eases out the comfort, right? So once you have it on the device, you don't need this cable any longer, right? That is one benefit. The second thing which I pretty much like about the USB on the go is I have tested it on a 64 GB pen drive and the content transfer is pretty smooth. The pen drive that you see here connected is an 8 GB pen drive, a cruiser blade 8 GB. This is pretty smooth. 64 GB I have tried and tested it works very smooth. I've got reviews and I've got our uh, viewers calling me in and they have also commented that they've tried it on an external hard disk also and it's reading pretty fine. That is USB on the go, how it reads the pen drive. Now let me show you, uh, I've got this uh, the, the PC, the laptop mouse with me and uh, the best part is I can connect my mouse via this cable and I can use my mouse on my device. So all you need to do is just connect this mouse. It's plug and play so you don't need any additional hardware, right? So if you see, I've got this tiny cursor here, which looks pretty cute. And I want to open my browser. I click here, it opens up my browser. Now, uh, BlackBerry has the peak feature, right? Which is you swipe up from the bottom. So all I need to do is I need to just put my cursor here. At the bottom, if you see the small arrow, and I just 
drag it and it peaks. So everything remains the same. I'm not using my fingers on the keyboard. I'm using this mouse, which I've connected onto my USB on the Go cable. So this is something very interactive, which I'm pretty much liking it as I'm using. So, and uh, there are cables available in the market which uh, have multiple ports, right? So the advantage is what you can do is, it creates a hub out here and you can create one port to your mouse, another one to your keyboard and you can open your docs to go and you can pretty simply create a new document. So what this does is, you don't have to use your uh, keypad on the phone, but then you can use that external keyboard that you have connected. So this is the USB on the go feature which comes on a new Z30 running on a 10.2 version. So thanks for watching. For more informative videos, please subscribe to Cell Vault.